Welcome, everybody. Glad you guys are here. We are continuing our discussion today of zero DTE trades. If you remember, just as a quick recap, that's unbelievable. If you can hear this noise, it's crazy. Uh, we're continuing our zero DTE coverage. And yesterday, I talked. we looked at some trades that uh, weren't great. <laughs> they weren't great. And I, I said at the end, you're going to have to convince me because I'm just not a zero DTE trader at this point in life. And one of the fold came through and sent me a portfolio that I've added a little bit to, but only just for this purpose of going through it together. Uh, shout out to Joseph T, who's in the room. Uh, so he put something together and shared it this morning, and we're going to look at it today. And today what we're going to focus on is the idea of tranching, the idea of putting different trades on at different times. Um, so I'm going to share my screen. Can you guys see that? Yeah, we're good. Sweet. So what this is, is this is a portfolio of trades ran really since the COVID crash uh, to year to date. And it is a basic strategy. Uh, it's a couple strategies. They're all the same strategy, except for we're putting them on throughout the day. Okay. So what this is, is we're using the exact DTE and we are opening the trade at different times. Uh, we are um, doing up to three contracts per trade. Uh, and so there's kind of a limit to it. Obviously, I will share this and we can play around with it. But what we're doing is each time we're going to sell a condor. And it's a zero day condor. And the longs and the short, the shorts of the put and the call are always going to collect a dollar ten credit. And the longs are always going to be 30 points out. And Joseph put this together, found some cool stuff. Joseph, if you want to talk or type, um, I imagine looking at this, the 30, the 30 points away, you're, you're paying, you're basically trying to get around a dollar credit uh, per side. Is that right, Joseph? Yeah. Okay. So trying to collect a dollar for each side and as you can see, you know, we'll look at each one, but the trade itself has a positive expectancy over time, um, which is pretty cool because yesterday we were struggling a little bit. Not a crazy drawdown, and so does pretty does pretty well. Um, so what we'll look at is let's just look at one real quick and see how this works. So the one that we put on at 1030 um, – just as an example, you're winning less than half the time, but you have a uh, positive expectancy, which is always, you know, usually with zero day, I would think you'd want to win more. You'd, you would need, I think if you've, anyone's ever listened to like David Sun stuff, you need a, a, a expectancy of around 67 to 70% to, ha to expect a positive carry through time. Um, but this kind of, this, for some reason works. And I think probably part of it's the three contract minimum or maximum and stuff like that. Um, so as you look through it, the interesting thing about this, if you, I'm always interested in the zero day, when you put these on, when you get, um, cause you're letting it expire, you know, you're the, you're going to go to four if it's winning, but you're going to get stopped out at different times. So the like first loss you're stopped out within 45 minutes. Um, another loss, you know, you're stopped out a couple hours later after lunch. Um, any questions about this so far? H have you guys, as you've done this, have, have any of you done like trades where you're collecting credit rather than you're doing deltas? Feel free to speak up or just text or whatever. Fun. Yes, haven't had success yet. I think this is what David Sun, if you guys are familiar with David Sun, I think this is what he would call credit targeting. So you're trying to, rather than always do the same delta, you're trying to collect the same credit through time. 
Um, and his research shows that that, that works uh, for different different times of life. Uh, so, again, just to look through it again, go to a different test. Um, hmm. Let's do the first one in the morning. Uh, you have a pretty massive drawdown for a couple months there through time last year. Uh, but you, again, have positive expectancy with less than a 48 or 50% win rate, which is super interesting. Um, and so what I thought it would be, I thought it would be interesting is a, what do you think we could do to make these tests? Um, obviously it was zero day with gamma risk and everything like that. We want to make them like, we want to beat them up collectively beat them together to make them, you know, strong. Uh, yeah, Joseph, Joseph had sent me mostly afternoon ones and I put those, I put the morning ones in just for the sake of it. But again, this is the beauty of it. You can, I will share this portfolio and you guys can play around with it and figure it out. Um, to your point, uh, Joseph, I think yours started at 145 and that one has much more success through time doing afternoon condors, which is in some ways counterintuitive, right? Like when I was doing zero day, um, we were, I was like, I wanted them on like by nine thirty two, partly cause I'm not a smart man. Me and Forrest got share some, some things. Um, but it's interesting, you know, to find that, to see in the afternoon how this could work. So Matt says one way to make it tougher is to use um, to use two hits of the profit target, which is true except for these. Exactly, it's not expiring. Yeah, the profit target, you ride or die. You either get out for a stop loss, or you or you die. Um, so we could do something like we could put these on. We could ignore bid asks. Um, should we increase slippage? Yeah, put slippage at five cents. Ride or die. That's right. It's the story of my life. So let's put it at five cents. Run it again. See what that looks like. Again, are you going to always, you know, to the tester's point, are you always going to have slippage? No, not necessarily. But we like the idea that actually gets. This is always a fun one to me. That actually doesn't hurt it at all. Which is hey good rusty is coming in strong and saying the fees are actually too punitive so let's do it tasty trade style i believe dollar seven and then seven on closing point seven on closing This is this is an interesting test, fellers and, and ladies, because this is uh, we we went into it trying to make it punitive, and this is the first I think we've seen to where uh, to where it's uh, it's getting better through time. That's right. So, is there anything we could do? Would we like to try to collectively improve on this some more? What are, what are some thoughts about how we could improve this trade, if, if, if possible? Show the full test conditions. There you go. So open it. At, can, you, can you see it, Matt? Oh, and always also as the test is getting better through time and we might start salivating um, options that involve risks and are not as suitable for all investors. This is backward looking, not forward looking. Please uh, get in touch with your financial advisor for more questions about options. This is not to be construed as financial advice. Uh, this is just financial fun. 